Atomic Heart is one of the most hyped game releases of 2023. After being announced way back in 2017, the slick trailers and shrouded details regarding what it's actually like finally gave way to a concrete launch. And as it would turn out, much of it is just really, really horny. Of course, these two robot characters, often described as the ballerina twins, feature in-game, giving gamers a taste of forbidden fruit in the form of sexualized machinery. At least, that's how they've been interpreted by millions, as evidenced by extensive fan art and meme culture focusing on their exploits. We've got entire videos dedicated to the death animations generated by the twins, with questionable comments surrounding them. I mean, just take a look at the video thumbnails and titles covering the two robots. The vibe feels a lot like the introduction of Lady Dimitrescu during the release of Resident Evil 8, and oh my god, were a lot of people horny for that tall, tall lady. Whilst Atomic Heart is praised for its imaginative world design and incredible set pieces, some criticism about wonky dialogue manifesting in suggestions to play the game in its native Russian audio with English subtitles have appeared. And unfortunately, a fair chunk of the game's reputation is being discussed regarding the fact that the devs, Munfish, are Russian, which may lead to some profits going to the Russian government. PC Gamer notes that if anything the game satirizes and pokes fun at Soviet exceptionalism instead of endorsing it, however Ukraine has also officially asked to remove Atomic Heart from store fronts in their country, so it's quite clear the game is ruffling some feathers. Plus, Mick Gordon, the composer of Doom's soundtrack, has donated his fee for composing Atomic Heart's soundtrack to the Red Cross's Ukraine Crisis Appeal, as he started working on the game way back in 2020 before the fighting kicked off in 2022. So as you can see, despite a ton of horny postings surrounding the game's release, it would appear Atomic Heart isn't without its fair share of controversy. Clearly, the art style and visual treats provided by Munfish are the best aspect of the game, as demonstrated by this love for the twins overshooting praise for combat or storytelling. That's not to say it's been reviewed as a bad game, critics and audiences alike are giving Atomic Heart very good scores, it's just unfortunate that it has been hyped up as something industry dominating as Bioshock. If nothing else, the game has clearly spawned love due to its personality, for better or for worse, and that is likely something that will carry it through the years. In short, the robot twins from Atomic Heart are receiving horniness on a massive scale, proving the developers knew what they were doing one way or another with one of the most anticipated game releases of 2023. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>